One of our goals is to educate more people about the esports industry and how it started. Here with us today, we have Mr. Eric Rodolphin, owner of TNC, to take us into the business side of esports. A pleasant day, everyone. I am Glocka, and we are gaming with purpose. This is a segment where we learn about the Philippine video game industry. And today, we have a guest, none other than the owner of one of the biggest gaming cafe chains in the country, Mr. Eric Redolfin. Hello, Sir Eric. Welcome to our show. Hi. Uh, thank you for uh, having me on board. We are pleased that you are here. So, Sir Eric, we'd like to start off with, you know, finding out what you've been busy with. Like, what are your current projects with TNC and uh, for yourself nowadays? Uh, for now, our flagship, which is the TNC Saribel Cafe, is still uh, uh, on track. And we are also incorporating the food and beverages inside our Saribel Cafe. So we know that TNC is really in support with a lot of esports stuff happening in the Philippines right now. So what are technically the, your plans in growing? Uh, the esports scene here in the Philippines? Uh, TNC's plans actually is uh, to create a strong ecosystem uh, because we know that uh, esports now is a fast growing industry. So we need to, uh, TNC, we need to create a good ecosystem for us to retain the, uh, the business as a whole. Now, what do these teams need? in terms of like support from the community or maybe from sponsors or businesses? Uh, yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a good question. Uh, for, on my own observation, we have a lot of talented players. But the, what is the missing piece? We have a missing piece. Uh, we, don't, uh, we don't have the cap captaincy uh, talent, uh, the one who will lead the team. We have a lot of players, but captaincy is the man uh, we're missing now. We also don't have uh, a good analyst and uh, maybe experienced uh, life coach. Now, how is it relevant to sponsor these esports teams or, you know, or companies? Uh, a sponsor, it will help uh, to level up the treatment of our team uh, in different com uh, competing regions and somehow it will motivate them. Okay, now finally, for you and TNC, what are your latest projects and what is in the pipeline for you? The TNC's latest projects are still uh, under construction in different cities and different regions uh, around, around the Philippines. Uh -huh. And hopefully before the end of this year, we, we were able to manage to open uh, the door in every city. The purpose for this is, uh, like I, as I mentioned a while ago, the, the ecosystem. So if we run, we're planning to run a uh, big tournament nationwide. So we can manage to do that if we have a, uh, a store in different cities. Esports is not only growing within the scene, but also in, uh, in like the, the education scene, the academic scene. Like uh, schools are now uh, incorporating esports or these esports titles in uh, their clubs or in their activities. So does TNC or do you have any plans on uh, giving support on this type of, uh, of extracurricular uh, activities for schools? Uh, this is one uh, plan of TNC. Uh, we, we will be opening the, the TNC Academy uh, also coming soon. Yeah. Wow, alright. But is there anything uh, you think should be changed currently in the in our industry right now? Any company can enter into esports, but uh, is the, it will uh, do this company can benefit in entering into esports. Something that's uh, for now it's hard in 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 Philippines, not in not in other region because in other region there are really big companies who are sporting esports. That's one reason why uh, uh, in Philippines like we are not yet. Uh, maximizing the growth of the esports because many companies are not yet into uh, entering into esports. So maybe uh, we need to educate them. The more we educate everyone, the more they will know that hey, esports is something we should really get into, something that they 
esports is growing, we gotta do something better for this. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much. And there you have it, guys. None other than Mr. Eric Redolfin. Thank you very much for all your insights for us. Thank you. All right. So now that we understand what we need in order to grow esports here in the Philippines, catch us next time for another aspect. All right. I am Glocko here in Game Over Cafe for gaming with purpose. I'll see you next time.